Okay. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> oh, hey everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... Faisal Lieutenant Rakir at your service. And welcome back to Doom 2016. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, let, let's just... For one final mention of Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands, just going from that to this and plus finally being done with that game is just such a bloody relief. Like, uh. Yeah. Like, if that the game, the, the Forgotten Sands was a bit more fun and probably were a bit more what he had hoped to do, but only able to do, I think we would have been more happy. Yeah. And hello there in chat, Cookie. Uh, let's see, Hillian and Dragony. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, he has a sign with his name, by the way. Maybe I, perhaps I should change the text on that. <laughs> I, I actually feel like it's somewhat that it, it, actually, yeah. If I the sign has gotten smaller. Okay, I might have I'm to resize it then. Yeah, pretty sure. Yeah, I, I think it's been getting smaller and smaller over the streams. I okay, I've just been messing with it. Maybe it, it's been affected by me adding in the other avatars or something. Perhaps, but I think it's just... Yeah, I think it's about one third of its original size. I, I think I originally shrank it down to make room for the others, but uh, I, uh -oh. I could probably just put your name as a text on... Oh, and once again, I forgot to turn on Do Not Disturb mode. Uh, give me a second on that. Again, I really wish there was a way to have that put on for a timer or something. Okay, you can barely see it. Okay, it should be bigger on your screen, but then again, that depends on... Uh... <laughs> Even I can barely read it now. Okay. I, I guess the one of the times where you actually did invite the others over, you shrunk it and... We forgot to resize it? Maybe. And we just uh, well. did not notice it until now? <laughs> Could be. But, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da. Assign which one? The one with Rakir on it. You can barely see it. But since it's the bearded dragon, I keep saying dragony. <laughs> oh, I thought you all knew. I, I, I actually thought it was big enough to read in general. But then again, some people will have... Some people probably watch this on phone or such. Or some people like I'm getting watched that much at all. Okay. Uh, let's see. I've noticed it very early. No, I couldn't read it on my phone at all. <laughs> well, uh, me getting corrected right away because that there are people watching this on phone. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, you doing well, Cookie? Okay. And yeah, of course, let's continue where we left off, where, of course, last time we started with the game. And yeah, we've made a decent amount of progress. As in, we got into here. Partially on accident, because I jumped over the fucking railing up there. 50%. Uh, procrastinating as usual. Uh, let's see. We need to find two more gore nests and clear them out. Um, which is not this way. Oh, yes, this way. It's... Excuse me, is this room a bit hot? A bit. Though not as hot as it's been outside here. Yeah, luckily the temperature is uh, is start is starting to go down pretty well, so it isn't boiling outside or here before. Yeah, uh, I, I also talked to my mother today, for I, me and her, her noticed something concerning with this summer. Oh? Um. Like, sure, I seen, I don't know, we saw one queen bee that wanted in on both on floors, blocked that out. I had one bee I luckily was able to chase out. It tried to get through the net, but, yeah. But the there are some notices when I took my morning walks that the place where they usually swarm with bees as such, as they are maybe bushes alike. Yeah. There were none. 
Okay. These have already been in trouble, so the heat extra heat probably isn't helping them at all. Yeah, our we had worse heat waves with swarms of them, of them about. Hello there. So, so far I'm already guessing that the, the many bees has moved over towards the lakes and forest. Anywhere there's more water where the flowers can flourish better. Hmm. But still, and other thing also is, normally I don't see many bumblebees nowadays, but this year I've seen more bumblebees than before. However, only one third of the bumblebees I see have been alive. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, hello there. So, yeah, I. Yeah, I'm a bit concerned about the bee population at the moment. Yeah. It also isn't going to help if they're trying to get inside of places to try and make their nests. Uh, 27 euro. Oh, that's horrible cookie. Yeah, that, that's a horrible temperature to, to, to be in. Uh, oh, hello, Marco. Hello. I'm just trying to find my way around the place. Yep. That one hit took 30 armor away from us. Okay. Uh, yeah, the game hasn't gone back as... Well, went back a bit further than I thought it did. Uh, let's see. If young men I need to make uh, uh, homework, I'm three weeks overdue. Is it me or did everything shrink, but uh, not the screen? I, I made the screen bigger at some point recently. Well, recently-ish. A month or a few months back. Uh... Yeah, now I'm sleeping in my winter blanket. Uh, Twenty cent. Why are you sleeping in your? I think something hit happened when his microphone walked in. Test one, two. Three, four, five. Okay. For some reason, I, for some reason, my sound is just bugging out. Like, just when I hit the pre-stream button, uh, when I started up the stream with the pre-stream and such, that audio just cut out to my headset, and just now it did again. And typically, that's goes along with the mic freaking out, so I just muted that one as well. Uh, okay. And yeah, let's see. Uh, da -da -da. Now I'm sleeping in my winter blanket. Let's call it climate change. It's 27 in my room. Why? <laughs> I'm. A... Is that 27 Celsius or Fahrenheit? Because if that is Celsius, then why the hell are you sleeping in your winter blanket? Because then you'd be boiling even more. Uh, let's see. And hello, Mark. You doing well today? So, that, then why are you sleeping in something that's supposed to keep you heated? Or are, are you taking out the filling or such? Yeah, actually. Do some, I just end up taking out all, uh, just use your bed sheet. Or, yeah. the, or the thing you have over the blanket. But now I have to use an actual piece of cloth that you're supposed to sleep on, not over you. Because okay. it's thinner than the actual blanket uh, sheet. Let's see. Okay, this is all leads to the same place. Uh, okay, where do we need to here? Okay, this place is a being a bit of a maze. Let's see, and now we're okay, now we're over this way. There's still two more boar nests to destroy somewhere. Yeah, uh, let's see. Celsius, it's cold. No, over I sleep under it. Okay. I'm pretty sure 27 degrees Celsius is not considered cold. <laughs> yeah, that, that's actually warm uh, from us here. Like, unless you're oh. living in the tropics or something. And it's supposed to be one of the collectibles somewhere around here. Uh, oh, underneath? Underneath, I think. Okay. Uh, hmm, how... 
Uh -huh. uh, there it is. Okay, there's a little lip for us to go on. Let's see. It's hard to see what you are. <laughs> Possessed engineer model, vault guy. Oh, the vault. <laughs> really? A, a doom guy figurine in a vault suit? Okay, hello, Fallout reference. Oh. <laughs> yeah. How did I miss you? I think you were looking for him to actually spawn behind you. Was I supposed to see him jump or something? Yeah, he might have just climbed up right behind you just as you turned around. In the perfect timing. Could be, though I am being a bit distracted. Hello. Samuel Hayden, uh, <clears throat> the chairman of the UAC, born into the wealthy and powerful Hayden family, he completed his master's in theoretical, uh, theoretical physics at Oxford University. He showed prodigious talent in several fields, including thermodynamics, electromagnetic theory, and nuclear sciences. At a young age, he established the Samuel Hayden Foundation, a philanthropic organization dedicated to sponsoring young scientific talent and funding scientific programs in schools and colleges. His daunting intellect made him, a, <clears throat> made him a prime target for the UAC, and they recruited him soon after he was appointed General Director of the Global Science Council. Samuel took over leadership of the UAC a few months after the discovery of the Argent Fracture and immediately put the Argent Tower into production. During the construction of the Argent Tower, Samuel was diagnosed with stage 4 inoperable brain cancer. Samuel was given six months to live. He dedicated those last few months to finding a radical solution to his mortality, cybernetic transference. Now that explains all of this. Now let's see. Oh. Uh, that's, that's, uh, Marco, it's 21 Celsius for me. No, wait, 27. 20, it's 21 for my country, but my room is 27. Okay, that makes a bit more sense. Uh, same cookie? Are you living in the same country or something? No, it's just a coincidence. Uh, one wait, of you two he... knock on the uh, one of you two knock on the wall and see if the other one hears it. Uh, I'm trying to double check my memory. From what I know of cookie and uh, Marco, Marco is in Croatia and Cookie is in Netherlands. But it has ancestry elsewhere? You, you, you both are definitely allowed to correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, that was just a weird moment where my controls got stuck again for some reason. Okay, let's just redo that then. Like, for... For some reason, my walk left button gets stuck sometimes in this game, and it does not happen Remember, anywhere else. The blind council is always watching. Demonic threat reduced by fifty percent. Okay, totally not a threat from this thing. Uh, let's see, we have some upgrades points available. Let's see. Uh, it reduces the cost of micro missiles. Greatly in, like, bleh, improves reload time for micro missiles. Instantly activate the micro missile rack uh, when it is ready to fire. Um, let's keep. Let's actually, yeah. Let's spread it out a bit. Let's get this one. And there's also we have a suit upgrade points. Let's see, environmental resistance. Uh, yeah, let's take this one so we take less damage. There. Okay. Okay, let's try and take out some smaller stuff first. Before we focus on... What? Okay, why? Now it was my back walk key that got stuck. Hello. And goodbye. What, what, what are you two having question marks about? 
I think everyone is just confused. It's and the confusion splanks splanks spreads spreads and hello spreads like a disease. <laughs> Let's see, quite the collector. Which one was that? If it's going to tell us, yeah, prototype guy. Okay, we got the plasma rifle <laughs> model now. Uh, ah, there's the gore nest. We can't force this open. Let's see then. Nope. For some reason, my controls keep, are getting stuck every now and then. Like I was trying to, I was trying to glory kill him there, but I was stuck walking forward. So the hell is going on? No, I'm still so <laughs> trying to reload when it's not neat at all in this game. Okay, apparently we have some. Yeah, we have. We just got an upgrade for elemental. Environmental resistance. Yes. E easy, Igor. Easy, Igor. Yeah. Down, Igor. There we go. Wait, wait, wait. Do you fall into the, the hot metal? Demonic threat nope. reduced by 75%. <laughs> uh, Hello. Uh, now we have a blue access key. Okay, that's going to get us into some places we couldn't before. Uh, let's see. Any stuff around here? Ah. Hello? Okay, now we've got a full map. Uh, what do we have down here? Uh, let's see. Did we? Yeah, we've gotten this one before, so now this one. The Foundry, an extension win of uh, resource operations, the first Mars outpost, processes all of the heavy elements mined from the outlying Martian landscape and from around the original location of the Argent Fracture. Refining Argent Plasma requires a large amount of transitional metals and noble gases, so a central location uh, can be systematically cleansed, uh, systematically cleansed and decontaminated, or that can be systematically cleansed, is required to keep Argent energy production at maximum efficiency. As such, this area is considered a high-risk area, and all UAC employees are subject to regular med checks to ensure their production capabilities are not degraded by the environment. Industrial accident related deaths in the foundry stopped dramatically in MTC 2146 thanks to the implementation implementation of a new UAC of new UAC safety protocols where employees exposed to dangerous materials are immediately sent to the Lazarus lab for cleansing, re-education and where possible reintegration. As a result of this protocol, officially reported deaths have dropped to negligible amounts. Officially reported. Yeah. There so, we go. Yeah, I just sent off to die somewhere else. Uh, it's uh, here. Uh, it's, uh, uh, yeah, uh, he is from Netherlands and one from Sweden. Okay. Is there anything nearby here? There is. Okay, there's a body up there. How do we get to you, though? The other side there. So, is there anything down here that I can climb into? There's something up ah, here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Helene, you live near uh, to near near. Uh, I'm gonna check which high school I made it into. Scrap this in the meantime. Uh, I know, right, scary. <laughs> uh, that was the what, Cookie? Uh, 
also is that yeah that's another point here uh let's see power-ups we find those rather infrequently swap weapons grab fat ledges uh decrease weapon self damage that would be useful since we'll be getting a lot more explosive stuff later okay for now uh, this way this should all be new I believe Was later that, uh, areas will not be as uh Oop. Wait, is that definitely creatures Again? Test one, two. Three, four, five. Okay, I I do not get what the hell keeps happening. Mike isn't dead. My, I turned Mike off in the case it does freak out again. Uh, sounds there. Okay, everything is back to... Why does it keep disconnecting? Uh, it's getting really annoying now. War nest. Yeah, I very much doubt that this future that the UAC is talking about is uh, as good as they claim it to be. Let's deal with some less uh, terrible human resources. What were you shooting at? <laughs> okay. Yeah, whoop. Yeah, hello, big boy. Okay. And that's all four of them gone, so we now <laughs> now we can fix this thing. Okay. Uh, okay. And this is right back here. Okay. Um, we need to head this way. Okay. Probably should hurry up a little bit. Yeah! Core temperature critical levels. Okay. Vent those things. There's a miss. Okay, I'm gonna get a lot of ammo for this one. Actually. Gotta keep moving. Yep. Yeah. Hmm? Alright, you said there we go. Yeah, I thought you meant to get your head to fix something of your own. Uh, no, yes, there. There we go. Punch down the demon. And here comes. I wanted to ask you about Gloom. It's just too late. Yeah. Where is he? Not the one I'm after. But I'll take it all the same. Where's the hell knight? 
It did blow itself up or something. I don't think so. Okay, let me check those teeth. Oh, well, that reminds me of something horrifying I learned uh, the other week. Oh? Uh, you remember when they, were, they actually promoted small doses of radioactivity as a medicine? Yeah. Those sports guys started to take small doses of it, and he was told to only small tips. And he ended up taking more and more until he took a few bottles a day. Yeah. Temperature is now stabilized. Okay. In case well, what that... happened after a while. Yeah, radiation sickness the after a while. The control room has been activated somewhere nearby. It could be Olivia. Um, he literally, his jaw literally dropped, fell off. Oh, yeah, that guy. Yeah. Yeah. They did try to give him a new job, but he, a few weeks after, did die. From radiation poisoning. Hello, Olivia. Authorization. Olivia Pierce. Alpha 4. Zero. Two. Hey, what are you up to? She is trying to tear open the portal between our world and theirs. Okay, she's overloading the thing that's connecting the place. You could not have saved them anyway. Oh, great. Now, instead of this place blowing up, it's just going to... Well, it's not going to hell, but hell is coming here. Uh, opening the gates wide open. Oh, I feel know they're actually blowing up the damn gate. For so everyone can short in. And of course the door is locked. The system won't allow anyone but Olivia to override it now. We will have to shut down the Argent Tower manually from the surface. Oh, yo! We get to go out and have some fresh air. Some fresh, red, hellish air. Okay, I filled most of these, but oh well. They're just extras anyways. Okay. Olivia Pierce, the cult leader of the UAC, is trying to open a gateway into their dimension. She wants to, uh, she wants to help bring about the end of this world. Another, another lost soul fallen to, under Hell's control. Olivia overclocked the Argent Tower, using it uh, to drill a hole into the Hellscape and let Hell's army through. We need to shut down the Argent Tower before it breaks through into their world by disabling the energy filters located around throughout the subsurface uh, complex. Okay, why am I having some issues reading today? Um, don't you usually start using the tower to drill a doorway into their world? You can prevent her from opening the gate by disabling the tower induction filters. Okay, this, this is where we would have picked Contact up the plasma rifle the normally. Is a frequent occurrence outside of the base, so it is recommended that workers buddy up when journeying onto the Martian surface. Wait, so people are randomly getting transported into hell around here? Really? I think 
the, the, the union have a lot to say about this. Like, these people are likely unionized. It's... Okay, here and there. Okay, now we're getting some more platforming. Okay. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Cookie, stay calm, young man. Stress isn't good for your heart. This one, two, three, four. I heard finger snapping. I can hear your voice. And this time I did hear the damn loudness. Okay, but this time I, this time my headset didn't wink out. So why? Okay, one thing that says is that those things aren't connected, but that means that two th different fuck ups are happening at the same time. Uh, oh. Uh. Okay. I hope it isn't the game somehow causing these uh, mess ups. But yeah. <clears throat> Rune Trail. Use the combat shotgun to eliminate 15 imps before the timer expires. You get 10 seconds, but plus 2, you know, <clears throat> plus 2 per kill, 4 for every glory kill. And if we complete that, we get vacuum increases the range you can uh, that you can absorb uh, dropped items. Now th these are little trial size challenges, so uh, yeah, let's give this a shot. Oh dear. Okay, start. Okay, we don't get any side things though. Oop. Seven to go. Okay, we've got this. Last one. There we go. Easy enough, but these will get tougher, of course. Uh, let's see. Cookie, while you're chilling in VC, I'm going to start making homework. Yeah, we probably should do that a lot since you're three weeks behind. I prom Once you hit one month behind, I think you're probably going to put on some big uh, consequence for you, Cookie. So really get to that. Okay. Runes. The runes tab is where you can view available runes and equip them. You can also view your progress toward upgrading any runes you have acquired, as well as requirements for unlocking additional rune slots. Yep. We can get a bunch of these, but of course, at first, we only have this one, Vacuum 1. And if we, up, if we pick up 300 items, it'll get upgraded, and inc which will further increase the range. Okay. Uh, okay, that's kind of good. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Now, with a bit less of a dry throat, that should probably help a bit. <clears throat> okay. And we get another rune at by completing four, and another at, <clears throat> at seven rune trials. Okay. Okay. Oh, we, we, okay, we've got a bunch of these. Uh, actually, we should probably put some here as well. Uh, let's see. Reduce the recharge between bursts. Increase fire rate of the burst. Reduce the loading time of the charge bursts. Let's get that. And we can't upgrade any of these two. 
So for now, let's just max this one out. Okay. Get oh, we need 20 direct hits on imps before we get the cluster strike. Okay, all the more reason to use it. <laughs> There's some... Okay, there's something here for us to find. Ah, there. Let's see. Argent facility. <clears throat> At times, Tier 1 and Tier 2 advocates will be asked to perform dangerous duties that include exterior work. This may be put uh, before you as punishment for not meeting your quota, or because you are the best person to complete the job. I think uh, that you probably should have put this one first. Uh, then, then again, I think there is a bit of a psychology thing where if you put the bad thing first and the good thing after, the good thing is going to stick more in the mind. So, uh, yeah, you are getting punished for this. You are not, you are not the best person for the job, or rather, you likely are because you're disposable. Yeah, no, I think it's a trick that no longer works. Yeah, since a lot of people have figured it out. And uh, okay, good night, Marco. Have a good sleep. Oh, sleep well, Marco. I don't let the bad imps bite you. In either case, new advocates should approach the work with the same focus and commitment as any other task. Should you experience any interdimensional encounters, you are advised to report the, uh, the event to a Tier 3 Lazarus project scientist or your departmental enforcer. You are advised to not approach any non-human entities without executive supervision. <laughs> I think we, I think we can all guess how uh, the typical encounters go, though. Screams, sounds of bones, shattering limbs getting torn, yep. bodies hitting metal, Ew. yodeling. <laughs> I think we found the typical result. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's add. Getting turned into a wind chime to that list. Oh, I, I was to say the most vulgar version of Christmas decoration, but the wind chime works too. And hello, hello. <laughs> Rocket launcher. <laughs> Let's see. This weapon has seen little design modification since its development in the late 21st century. It is standard issue to heavy weapon specialists in all military forces due to its unparalleled direct impact and radius damage. The UAC improved the design slightly by adding an automated quick reload. This, uh, the, <clears throat> the weapon casing has been retrofitted to accept UAC developed modifications. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we can. All weapons get uh, mod, weapon mods, so uh, it'll be curious to see what they put on this. And what happened? Station is on lockdown. Okay. Hello. Yeah. I will see this. A rock logic is that this sign that doesn't need too much change over the generations. Shield boy. Fix that for you. You're just going to stick there? Yes, you are. Yep. Okay, I'm just going to whip this shot completely. Oh, lady. Ooh. I'm not the best at leading my shots with these. Miss again. Okay, I need to focus more on just getting through the combat instead of just uh, trying to get the challenges done. Okay, uh, anything hidden around here? It doesn't look like it. There's some stuff. That way, 
Hey, hold on, I saw something comical there. You? Yeah. Someone want to challenge us. Uh, to oh. be knighted. Uh, perform two, two death from above glory kills on hell knights. And, okay, I get the auto map and uh, get back here, you. It's not a modification drone, it the fuck is. Oh, are they in fighting? Yeah. Oh, the imps are. The imp are the imps attacking the possessed engineers? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, they're all over who gets the last uh, garlic bread. Okay, whilst they're doing that, I'm going to chase that drone. It flew into here, didn't it? Ah, there you are. Okay, let's see. We've got those already. Tactical scope for the rifle. It uh, allows for zooming in and the targets. Uh, nice and all, but we are mo we're supposed to be moving mostly, so zooming in isn't going to be too useful. Then we have the heat blast for the plasma rifle. Firing the plasma rifle will build up access, uh, access, uh, uh, heat, excessive, except yeah, excess, uh, heat that can be released as a powerful burst by using the weapon modification button. Okay, and stun bomb. Pressing the weapon mod ball uh, button launches an electrified projectile that stuns demons within its detonation. Okay, that could be useful. And then we have remote detonation uh, and lock on bursts. Press and hold the lock to a target once fired by <laughs> once locked. Firing will cause uh, quickly launch three rockets at the target. We're taking that. We're taking that. Okay. Why does he need to punish them for? <laughs> uh, because he's angry. Let's see. Each projectile for the UAC rocket launcher is fitted with a guidance system at manufacturer. This modification activates that guidance system. Micro motors in the fin assembly will guide the rocket toward a painted target. When the operator uses the built-in laser targeter to lock onto his target, a salvo of three rockets is launched in rapid succession. Targeting requires a steady hand for several seconds, but once achieved, the guided projectiles will never miss their mark. Okay. I think we should probably save this thing for the moment, for the Hell Knights and bigger stuff. Yeah, I just realized. How the heck are we supposed to get death from above upon death knights this early on? Yeah, that's why I'm jumping a lot of the time, because you get those from oop, you get those from jump being above them when you do the um, the glory kill. Yeah, you, you, you do know how tall they are, right? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, hello. Up. Let me try to get that upgrade to increase the weapon weapon swap a lot. Yeah, and maybe something that improves your jumping. Nope. Razors. My end of a song, Hell Razor? Uh, probably is one like, like that. Okay, checkpoints. And yes, there are, I know there are movies, which I've only seen one of. Uh, from what it's I've possible. heard, only two of them are considered to be good, one and three or so. Yeah, I'm not sure which one it was I saw for... It was not the first one. But I do know they have quite a deep lore, so they've also been in comics. And I completely forgot that I had grenades. Okay. Um, 
I'm not surprised. There's something over there. Grab that. Okay, it's another Argent cell. And hello. Goodbye. Okay, easy little fight. Anyone else? Okay, here we go. Give me that oversized marble. Okay. Um, let's go with armor for now. There we go. 25% extra. Not 25. 20 extra. 25 extra. Plus 50%. Ooh. Okay, anything else here? There's some stuff above us, so... Yeah. Up. And up. Good. It's for shotgun ammo. Okay, OBS lost connection. Oh! Uh, okay, pausing the timer for this. Today's just a day with technical difficulties with uh, streaming, huh? Yeah. Like, I prefer them before stream, so they have time to just do something like a restart the PC. Let me see if I just stop the stream for a second and reconnect, start it up again. Okay. Hmm. Twitch. No, no. OBS lost connection with Twitch and couldn't reconnect. But when I just pressed stop streaming and start streaming again, it's reconnected again. So, what the hell, Twitch? What the hell, OBS? Uh, yeah, just for some reason, a lot of te technical annoyances with this. Yeah, you know, not not with this game, with just streaming today for some reason. Okay. Yeah. And again, the controls just get stuck for like a second or two. Uh. Okay, fancy little thing. I expected to find someone in here. Something in here, more likely. Same, considering all the noises. Fuel. Oh, we've we've got four fuel now. In the corner. Okay. Nice. There's something up here? there. We've been barely using the chainsaw. Oh, oh, it's a trial. No. Okay, just get up here. Okay, what are you? Let's see. Armed with a pistol, destroy 30 barrels before the timer expires. Okay. Uh, we got six seconds, but we get two for every barrel. Okay, and we get... Oh, increases how long demons remain in a stagger state. Okay, that, that would be really good for trying the... <laughs> the glory kill challenges. Yeah, okay, he should be confused. Yeah, this shouldn't be any issue. Five hours later.
Eight, four more. Of course, there's a single one that I missed. There we go. In the last two seconds. Okay, that one's more of a challenge of finding a path. Yeah, I, I was actually impressed you were able to do it the most smoother than I expected. <laughs> okay, is, is that high praise of my abilities or low praise? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it as I'll a compliment. I'll compliment you at the moment. Well, I expect that this challenge to be a bit harder. But I did get a pleasant surprise over how damn good you was be sniping with the damn pistol. Let's see. Wait. So yes, you're getting praised, Captain. Is Captain a happy cat now? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now uh, that part was a bit easeful. I'll take that. There's something... There's a pass underneath here. Let's see. Hmm, I'm not seeing a way to get this. Is it a crawl space? Hmm. Okay, this is supposed to go down. Hmm. We are near a, a secret. Actually, we've missed a, quite a bunch of them so far. I, I haven't really noticed the compass pulsing to indicate that we're near one. And then again, my focus has been a bit more towards the center of the screen. Yeah, that and technical difficulties. Yeah. Hmm. It's like, we had those audio things before. It's usually like ones relocation twice but this time is a bit rare for that how many times have we now four five not that often but still a lot more often than usual a lot yeah, more often than is yeah <laughs> enough to be really frustrating yeah and then have to be more tightly together than the other times. <laughs> okay, just flash step to him. Uh, there. Uh, what? Why did it not switch? Or did I? Wrong weapon. Oop. Yeah, that's a death from above. Nope. Okay. Weapon upgrade point gained. Grab that. I probably should be using the chainsaw a lot more. And I will back here. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, no, I think both know how much work you need to do cleaning the armor. You as a step ladder. Ah, there you are. Oop. Oop. <laughs> Didn't see you there. Oh, 
Here we go. Now, where's the other one? I keep putting in one more bullet than needed. I think mean, that's quite normal. Oop, Hellraiser. Let's see. Recent dissection of a captured Hellraiser has revealed a remarkable embryogenesis between the th uh, third and eighth week of development. A parasitic Hellraiser uh, will seek out a suitable host to cremate from within. As the Hellraiser mutates, the arm host's arm ossifies into a beam weapon. Simultaneously, the pyrolyzed host becomes capable of withstanding the extreme temperatures generated during the uh, repeated accumulation of hell energy. The Hellraiser has not yet been observed outside of hell, and further investigation is planned for the next tethering operation. Okay, so <laughs> basically these things somehow infest some person, like a, like a demonic... No, like a demonic chest burster, and instead of yeah turning into a chest burster, they just go immediately to the drone with a laser beam version. That's terrific. I, I thought those were demon. Oh dear. Test one, two. Three, four, five. Yeah. This could probably be the episode we're gonna end up doing some editing. Yeah. Well, of course, I'm going to edit, I edit down all of the audio bursts like that, I'll call them. But again, my audio didn't disconnect there for some reason. <laughs> I hope he was able to hear me this time. Test one, two. Three, four, five. Uh, I was able... As you, you, you think to yourself, as you, just you said it did disconnect this time, it started again. Okay, that's... Something is really causing issues today, so... If it happens again, we're cutting the stream short, because... It's not that I don't want to play this game, it's just that something is fucking things around on my computer. So something needs to be dealt with. Yeah, I don't, it, again, it might just be a case of need to restart the PCs, and sometimes when you start the PC, not everything starts correctly. But I've had no further is yeah, I've had no other issues on my computer today so far. Like yeah. The only odd thing that I can say that there is at the moment is that the task manager says that the Wi-Fi is active but not being used. That is weird. Hmm. So you can get the auto map to death from above on Hell Knights. Hmm. I I think. Yep. 
I can think of mm -hmm. one way to maybe get a look, get a handle on those uh, audio bursts earlier, but would, that would require me to uh, move out the audio section from OBS and hope that doesn't cause any screwery. So let me test it uh, with the stats thing pulled out. It would cause a white screen on your end. So uh, let's see. Uh, did that change things for you? Yeah, I can still see the game and all that, but I still see you remove the damn thing. Yeah, can you see the movement that I'm making? I can see you move. Oh, you're shaking okay. your head. Then why the hell does the stats thing cause issues, but this not? Okay. Uh, I'll resize this a little bit then. So that fits underneath the game. And there, that should, that should allow me to catch the audio th stuff happening a lot earlier. Yeah, no, this means that no, I'm no longer able to identify whenever there's some uh, dialogue problems. And Marco is a, again, let's, I'm on my alt account since my main one is on a phone with empty battery. I'm watching Twitch since recently I got a case of insomnia. I'm pretty sure you should be able to use uh, your, uh, your your accounts aren't phone bound. So you should be able to log in on your other one. But uh, yeah, sad to hear you can't sleep. Been having that myself as well. Just waking up in the bloody afternoon for like a week now, if not more. Again? Yeah. Been trying to force it correct, but yeah, it does not want to be forced. They, they are locked. How how could they be phone locks, uh, yeah, Marco? Like I can understand if they are saved on those phones, but you should still be able to log in with it on a different one. Or is there some sort of parental control going on or something? Actually. There, just <laughs> number five of those. Okay, is there something about this game that is causing issues? Because now my comp that was the forward button getting stuck again. Like short, but still enough to be a nuisance. Yeah, especially when they haven't had the wrong time. Um, yeah. now oh, we hello. Have a button. <laughs> Super shotgun. It wouldn't be Doom without the double barrel. Okay, uh, there. No, no, that's upgrades. Uh, here. Weapons. Super shotgun. While this weapon has been removed from a UAC's approved weapon arsenal, many veteran operators insist that there is no better alternative for close combat. It offers incomparable destructive power at extremely close range, but is com uh, completely ineffective at long range. The weapon is light and small, making it a favorite secondary weapon that no self-respecting combat specialist would be seen without. Let's see. Okay, you need email registration, but my main one is on parental control. Okay. So basically, this is your sneaky account. Uh, does this thing share... Okay, they do share ammo, it looks like. Well, then there's hardly any reason to use the combat shotgun anymore. Except for longer range. Um... This might be needed, but I feel in many rooms you brought the preferred super shotgun. Yeah, since we're already running around and getting close. We're trying to at yeah. least. Let's see. Can we? Yes, we can. Okay. Hello. It's another USB upgrade. Let's see. How many have we now? I'm not going to waste shotguns on you. There we go. Uh, let's see. Uh, where's the Praetor suit with this again? 
there. Okay, we've got three. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, let's get this one. That way we can be more risky with our explosives. Uh, here. There's something hidden in here. Ah, of course. already? Nope. Knock, knock. Oh, hello. Haste. Okay. Oh, hello, big boy. Yep, yep. Uh, hello, Tapax. So, thank you for the follow. Uh, again, not a death from above, but okay. Uh, give me a second to check... Give me a second to get rid of all of the demons, and then I'll take a look. Oh, so why would I swap them? Oh, no, you're not getting that charge shot off. Nope, that's not everyone. That was everyone. Okay. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da -da. Uh, Marco, yes, and I'm literally playing FNAF <laughs> in real life, but instead of Atmetronics, it's my parents. <laughs> Come on, Marco. And hello, TapX. Doom 2016 rocks. We've been there. <laughs> yeah, we've been there, TapX, and thank you for the follow. <laughs> Hope you enjoy the show, even though I'm likely hardly as good as any actual good players of this game. Uh, let's see. Ah, there's something hidden there. But yeah, this game is awesome. No oh, need for yeah. that. Oh, hello, this is one of the things that we need to deactivate. We're only temporarily disabling the tower. You need to remove each lens individually. Carefully release the hinges. Warning. Energy contamination detected. Destroying the production of Argent energy isn't necessary. Carefully. Bonk, bonk, bonk. <laughs> Ooh, hell night. Let's see. Tablets retrieved from the Great Step in a, the UAC automated survey of 2143 <clears throat> suggest that the Hell Knights originally flanked the Great Serpent during the First Age. After their master was defeated by the Guardian, the Hell Knights were placed in the arenas of Hell, where they would feed on any victims thrown uh, to them by the demon overlords as sport. It is now believed that they guard the most sacred and important relics in the Netherworld. Okay. Uh, let's see. Tap Axe? It is. It's aged very well and I love the lighting, reflection and art design a bit more than Doom Eternal. And then Marco... When Doom Guy has a great outfit, drip and tear. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, well, oh, come on. That's we, fun. We've missed out on this one. Let's see. And yeah, we, we will get to streaming Doom Eternal once we're done with this game, but it probably will be a bit more. <laughs> it'll, it'll, yeah, it'll probably take a bit until we get there. Okay, let's see. This sphere invigorates the imb uh, imbiber with lightning speed. Once broken, this sphere releases a cloud, uh, no, a charged cloud of soul breaker energy, which forms a powerful, I believe, brief exoskeleton that charges and accelerates all natural movement. While the effects are brief, the speed that a hastened subject can reach is breathtaking. The heart rate also increases dramatically, ultimately res uh, resulting in myocardial. Uh, myocard uh, my Myocardial rupture. The heart, quite literally, explodes. Yeah. Um, Use it at your own risk yeah. very much. 
Nope, yeah, hello. New enemy. Got that for you. I thought I... Okay, I hit him once too many times again. Where are you? There you are. I have no hit. Get over here. Summoner. Okay. Uh, but yeah, how, how are you doing, uh, Tap Axe? Why did I almost say Spaz Axe? But good. Uh, let's see from uh, Tap, uh, Tap Axe. Boom, guys. Exploded when they did. When they did his bunny, the. Not, they don't got pixelated for me to read. Okay, give me a sec. Uh, let's see. That Doom Doomguy's heart split when they did his bunny that like like that. Summoner was a great enemy. I'm good, thank you. How about you? Doing decently well, though. For some reason, the, I'm having a bunch of technical issues today. Like my yeah. audio has disconnected multiple times. My mic has freaked the hell out like three times now already. Going to need to yeah. edit that out in post. Yeah, uh, I'm doing well. Though I was doing worse. This morning, like, I woke up fine, watched some YouTube, then I started to get pain in my neck, which led to a headache of what, alright, I would take some painkillers with a midday meal. Uh, well, before I was even start cooking the midday meal, I started to get worse, I thought, alright, I still got to take painkiller, that's fine. But while the food was cooking, a bowl uh, it was just sitting in a bucket and getting it ready, you just need to hold then I had a finger attack and went several times down to the bathroom and thought, Do I need to puke into a bucket? What is going on? Why do I feel dizzy? But once I had eaten my food, which was just noodles and meatballs, and the painkiller, I was fine. Okay, yeah. It's real odds. Yeah, so I'm. I'm fine now, maybe not full, uh, maybe 95, 90% of energy. But I don't, but I'm still doing, am I sick or not? I don't know. Yeah, I guess we'll have to find that out later. For now. Yeah, but, yeah, I, I do way. know that while all that happened, I was thinking, if this continues, I will inform Hillian that I can't join stream. Okay, there we go. Another little guy. Some health that's not really needed, but okay. Let's see, stealth guy <laughs> with, with a rocket launching model. I don't think I don't think Doom guy really does stealth ever. Okay, uh, Temp X. I'm over in Cali. It's noon here. Yep, it's evening for us, uh, 9 p.m. to be exact, because well, we're both over in Europe. The Netherlands here and uh, Sweden for him. Yep. Uh, I'm a crazy a Swede. There's a bunch oh, yes, of this is there. A, uh, oh, wait, no, I'm speaking English at the moment. I was just saying, this is how Swedish sound. They realize, wait, no, I'm speaking English at the moment. <laughs> uh, let's see. Missed some stuff around here. I, I completely missed some stuff here. You must stop. The hell energy is unusable without the filters. Wow. And what you are destroying is more valuable than you can possibly imagine. It is a perfect and unlimited energy resource. Uh, perfect. I'm pretty sure this counts as uh, some form of pollution. And hello, Vega. Uh, Vega is an acronym. Though the exact meaning has not been revealed by Hayden or the UAC, once named, it was decided that the AI would need to be given a personality to make interactions more agreeable. A gender was assigned, male, a virtual age was established, 50 years old, and a colloquial speech pattern implemented. As such, speaking to Vega is a calming and pleasant affair. A blind study was conducted with computer science students to see if Vega would pass the Turing test. The students were instructed to ask a series of questions to both Vega, via Satlink, and a mathemat the mathematics professor from NIT 
to see if they could tell which one was the computer. 92% of the students thought they were both human. Only 8% detected that Vega was a computer. <laughs> Vega also played the professor. So, <laughs> so they were double Turing testing him and he passed both tests, mostly. What the heck? Okay. Um, there's a Doom guy model around here as well. Can I... Can I actually get okay. up there from here? You're okay, from Tabex? Nice! Worldwide, I think that's what it says. Yep. Uh, what is can I get nice. in? Hmm. How are you supposed to get in there? We've seen the upper side, but found no way to get in there. Uh, turn lasso or lift up. Why do you speak Swedish there? Hmm. Uh, did you even understand what I just said? Something about a lasso? Yes, I just said uh, take a lasso and I was about to say just pull yourself up. <laughs> and it's what that was I was aiming for, but yeah, I stopped myself and realized I was talking Swedish. Okay, so that is how the compass pulses when we are near a secret. So, wait, if it, it pulses there, but not here, so it's, it's related to how where we can get into it more, it looks like. Um, I don't want to waste too much time on this. I'm guessing we just can't get to that for some reason now. Like, I know there's an upgrade we'll get later on that probably would allow us to get in there, but not at the moment. Okay. Um, let's see. We've got that. There's, oh, there's a guy over that way somewhere. Oh, can we get across? Hmm. I, I don't want to waste too much time on just going around. Oh, hold on. Wait, have we not gotten that one yet? Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, I completely missed this <laughs> as well. Oh, and that's three. Energy contamination at critical levels. We spent decades perfecting the science, selling it to humanity. We balanced their hell energy with our science, making it usable and safe. We solved an energy crisis the world had no answer for. It works. You cannot do this. No, we've already done it. And that is how we get this. There we go. Medic guy? Come on. Come on, tell us. Yep, no, UAC guy. Okay. <laughs> and we also got this one here. Let's see, the unwilling. Uh, the unwilling are fully transformed possessed that have been transported to hell to serve as shrine worshippers, slave labor for higher level demons, or cannon father for battle within hell. Okay. Yeah, oh wait, you wanted to read about the uh, summoner. Uh, oh yeah, let me correct that. Uh, after I get Tapax's comments, let's see. The map, exploration and platforming gave me major Metroid Prime vibes. Yeah, it is very similar to that. And, and Vega is like the UAC Cortana. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. Vega is Cortana's granddad. <laughs> oh, that. Yes, it works. Uh, Marco, uh, my bunny passed away. Google, don't grieve over it too much. They are in a better place now, being <laughs> part of Doom. Uh, yeah, I believe that was part of that. I believe that was part of uh, the original Doom story or so. That the, the thing that actually pissed the original Doom guy off in that wasn't the fact that Hell invaded Earth. It was the fact they killed his freaking bunny. Oh, uh, actually, it was both. Just it was already angry invaded Earth, but them impaling Daisy's head on a pike was basically destroy the broken camel's back. And I think it took a bit more than straw to break Hell's back, but he fucking did it. Yeah, <laughs> again, he, he evasion did make him extremely angry. But the bonios made it extremely personal. Yeah. 
Let's see. The summoner, a cunning adversary, is primarily a defensive summoning unit. As the demon horde swarms the enemy, the summoner sustains the battle by opening a rift to hell and calling forth reinforcements. To prevent being overrun by the relentless horde, the summoner should become a primary target in any battle strategy. So yeah, basically go for these first. It's like go for the healer, but instead go for the summoner. <clears throat> When held, well, no, when directly challenged in combat, the summoner is capable of channeling hell energy in an Argent, into an Argent wave. Although this wave kills most humans, an occasional victim will be transformed into the possessed. Surviving an Argent wave attack is extremely unlikely, but does not appear to be random. There is evidence that the summoner selects the most resilient of combatants for induction into the army of hell. So now we also know who are controlling the summons, huh? The summoners. Yeah. Oh, Not the summoners. Before, forget, before I forget, we talked about Daisy. You can find this little comic with the dub on, on YouTube Daisy Eternal. Okay. <laughs> it, it, it's not canon, it's a bit of a joke. But Hayden gets the idea to resurrect Daisy as a goth muscular bunny girl. <laughs> And she's actually terrifying. <laughs> Let's see. Basically, Axe. she's like a tiny version of Doom Guy. So, uh, Isabella, but a different species. Yeah, and uh, probably a bit, 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 actually sexier, but also more terrifying since the first thing she does when she meets a mancubus is rip its head off and also wears the pikes. Okay, let's see. Tap X. Pure rage. This guy shriek with. This guy shriek within with headphones. Uh, Summoner loves the chainsaw to the face. Yeah, that's probably the best way to get rid of them, especially since they're dodgy. Okay. Um, I think he's heard you there. What? Did you say? Did you say way? Uh, I might have used I thought you say. As in, uh, something about the same show that uh, that's the way? Uh, the best way, I mean, the best way. Uh, yeah, best way, probably. Did, did I misspeak it or something? Uh, for me, for me, I heard the best wave. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm pretty sure summoners have uh, control stock. I'm pretty sure those summoners are <laughs> favorites at raves, but not the kind that we would like. Or survive. Yeah, but yeah, that, you can see, I think you can see why I had to ask. But I was unsure if you you misspoke or if I misheard. Razor, Hell Knight. Okay, you got a blast of that. You both get one of that. Get back here, you. Health. And of course, he takes it away. Oh. Where are there you are? Okay, bodyguard, get back here. <laughs> okay, and apparently the go, combat thing in the corner doesn't measure every demon in the level. You just need to kill enough demons for it to fill up. I love that there's... Oh, completely missed this one. I love that there's also just environmental glory kills. Oh dear. The 12th Council of Nine is always watching you. The, the 12th Council of Nine? What? Did, did three of them retire or something? Oh, I almost missed you. Okay. Um, let's hold off on that. There's something. Oh, that's a power up marker. Okay. Questioning your faith? We all have doubts from time to time. A UAC Magus is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, in the chapel to talk with and help you get back on track. Probably through the form of whippings. Uh, wait. House of 12 and. Uh... Oh. I think I get it. 
Uh, let's see. Da -da -da. Uh, Marco, no. Ooh. Helium, Mike. Mike hurt. This one too. Uh, your finger snapping? Yeah, I wasn't finger snapping. Two. Test one. Three, four. Okay. Uh, uh, that's the fourth freaking time now. It, typically, it only happens like once. What is going on that is causing this? Uh, now the game is unselected. Uh, there. Okay. I I mean, you we're gonna edit those out, uh, don't worry people. Yeah, so those we... are going to go out before the, this gets uploaded to YouTube. But why is it happening so much now? Something in the game causing issues or something? If stopping our energy production is what you want, then you need only to destroy this last filter and Argent Energy will no longer exist in this solar system. We will be back at square one. You have no idea what you have just done. Olivia is still alive. I've detected her life signature at the Argent Tower. She has removed one of the accumulators from the tower base. It has a unique energy signature that we can track. Well, that's it then. There's nothing else to be done. Yeah. I think we can all understand why the hell Doom Guy just wants to blow all of this shit up. Because you're an idiot for even <laughs> starting on getting energy from hell because, well, you're just going to bring down hell on your own head. Let's see. Two yeah, secrets missed. Two ways to stick true. Okay. Let's see. Against Samuel Hayden's wishes, you stopped the production of Argent Energy and delayed the Hell Portal from opening. Still determined to bring the armies of hell to this dimension, Olivia Pierce has taken an accumulator to the top of the Argent Tower and plans to use it to open a transdimensional rift. Blowing open a portal into their world. This cannot happen. You must kill Olivia Pierce. Primary access points to the tower were destroyed in the explosion. The pipeline is damaged but still intact. There are thrust boots in the maintenance hangar. You can use them to traverse the pipeline. Okay, thrust boots is what we want. And another new, or rather, old in new. Old in thrust boots. Yeah. I don't think they're boots. They're not boots for thrust falls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was getting a bit way wet. That it always sounds weird here. Oop, another revenant. Oop. Demonic presence eliminated. Lockdown disengaged. Okay. Let's see. Revenant. Revenants are UAC military operatives that have been methodically transformed into demonic combatants through cybernetic augmentation and repeated Lazarus wave exposure. 
The transformation begins by attaching a multiple launch rocket battery, MLRB, onto each shoulder of the patient, coupled to an argent charged uh, neurobiochip implanted at the base of the cerebral cortex. The MLRB allows uh, the Revenant to both attack its target with multiple conventional rockets and also to fire mobility boosters located under each MLRB. These things are made. These are not natural demons. Yeah. Completed in 2127, based off a prototype developed by Samuel Hayden's research team, the Argent Tower, also known as the Argent Inductor, is the UAC's crowning achievement. Now, this is what we want. And now we have double jump. Give yourself to the cause. Okay. Give me ammo. I'm a bit surprised about here so far, Helian. Hmm? Oh. I'm surprised you don't try to shoot the whole drums yet. Let's <laughs> just be wasting ammo in this case. And though we can find plenty of it, I'd rather not have to go scavenge. In the middle of combat. Yeah, probably the best. Yep. Uh. <laughs> I get a double jump and still managed to mess it up. Uh. Well done. You know what? Completed in twenty one twenty seven. Yep. Yes. <sighs> There we go, test one, two. Three, four, five. And this time it was my headset that crapped out again. I do not get why that keeps happening. Like, it's, it's not that it loses connection or power or anything. Like, the battery is still f well, mostly charged. It just decides, uh, nah, no longer connected. Fuck you. Uh, and, uh, yeah, that, that is weird. Like, my headphones can do that, but it always does that. But it noticed that I'm not talking to the mic for an extended l long time. But since I'm cool commentating, it won't shut down. And if you and I were just to watch a movie and I'm just staying silent, it won't shut down for it be rigged though there's some sound coming through. Let's see, there's something up there. And there's a data log that we overlooked. Okay, Jimmy. You surprised uh, that's not glass? It's around right. I'm pretty sure it is glass. Oh no! It, it it's a it's it's own energy shell. It's uh, creating. It's okay. Uh, okay, there's something behind the door here. Yeah, there's a trial. No. Should be able to. Yep. Okay, this is going to do wonders for our mobility. Okay, I'll take that. And this. Let's see. Use the super shotgun to eliminate eliminate 30 unwilling before timer. Okay. <laughs> this should be easy enough. No, no, and no. Again, no, no. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay, there are going to be unwilling uh, subjects <laughs> to uh, projectile testing. Does that count? Definitely enough. How did... Okay, they just staggered onto themselves. more of a case that we need to get to the next group in time. Mm. 
There we go. They, they still make these somewhat challenging. Ammo boost, okay. Nice. Okay. That should help <laughs> a lot. Okay. Yeah, plenty of rockets. Let's see. Let's actually swap this out for that. We'll put that on. Yeah, we'll put vacuum back on when we've got that unlocked. Yeah, let's see. Um, yeah, there's something just here around the corner. Yeah, we overlooked the little thing here. Completed in there. Based off the prototype developed by Samuel yep. Hayden's research team, the Argent Tower. Also, of course, it's going to keep Argent chatting. Delta is the UAC's crown achievement. Shut up. Okay. Now we can read that without input budding in. Uh, oh, these, of course. Delta 5 jump boots. First developed on the Phobos outpost to facilitate extremely fast navigation uh, through microgravity, Delta 5 jump boots are now used at all cargo stations, transport hubs, and maintenance deposits for <clears throat> to facilitate agile traversal with speed and ease. With the exponential growth of UAC production at the UAC uh, at the Argent facility, it became necessary to find an alternative to the overworked and overloaded ferry drones. When worn, Delta Five Gen boots uh, detect myoelectric signals in the legs, so that when the user begins to jump, a short burst of Argent energy is forced through a booster nozzle on the soles of the boots, and a fully assisted jump is performed. With enough angular momentum, a second jump can sometimes be performed. Uh, vast distances can be quickly covered when used uh, correctly, and cautions should be exercised when performing ENFN maneuvers around vertical drops or overhead obstacles. Yeah, as we found out immediately after getting these, huh? Yeah. Okay, environments. Oh, dear gods. Let's see. Uh, we get, yes, we got that one. Let's see. As a tier two advocate, you have already proven yourself dedicated to a UA to the UAC's mission. The Argent Tower is a monument to that dedication. It is the center of our universe. It is our triumphal arc. It is the gate that marks the path to our future. As such, it must be cared for with reverence and devotion, as if it were your own child. It is up to you, tier two advocates, to make sure that our altar to the future functions perfectly at all times. Whether your job is to clean the energy filters or calculate the, plas uh, the plasmatic isotope mix or just to oil the hinges on the blast doors, approach your work as a professional, as, uh, as a follower, and as a hero to the cause of science. Unlike everything else in your life, your work here matters. And remember, from within it flows the power, and the power it must always flow. You have been warned. Uh, yeah, this... Pretty easy to say that just the USC has been corrupted to the absolute core just by being near this thing. Yeah, so I think they, when they went up there, they were not a cult to begin with, but through all the expeditions and being near it, definitely. yeah, that definitely did something. So, yeah, when Hayden says. That it is for the best of humanity. I think it's probably better for humanity to shut this thing down. Yeah, like it, maybe it would not been so bad if they never did the damn expeditions inside it. Uh, yeah, humanity gonna be curious, so yeah, that was inevitable. Not the best place to be fighting. Oh, yep, still got a hit. There. Actually, probably best to, yep. Going to be up close and personal, 
<laughs> take new substitutes. <laughs> There's something up there. Can we even get to that? Yep, through there. Okay. A okay, bit of a deep tour. But it'll bring us right back to the front. Of course, at the worst possible time. <sighs> I, it, what something happened? is fucking with my uh, computer. And of course, it puts us right back at the beginning here. Uh, oh, we don't even need a drone to get these upgrades. Oh, shots penetrate through targets. That would really put the hurt on. Uh, get that. Okay. Let's try and get there quicker this time. Can we? Yes, we can get there. Yep. There. Okay. Nice that they have two paths that lead to this. There's still an imp just chucking fireballs at us. You are no interest and no threat. Other than being punching bags. Oh dear gods. That's flying. You have that. Shoulders. Mm. I'll grab that in seconds. There we go. <laughs> Give me that. Uh, let's go with this one for a bit. Let's see. This simple modification applies a nanofiber membrane to the fuse of the projectile up upon leaving the firing chamber. This membrane contains a graphite weave laced with low-density explosive, allowing the operator to override the impact fuse and detonate the explosive charge within the projectile at any time after launch. Care must be used when employing this modification as there is no safety system present to prevent self-harm, aka accidentally blowing it up in your face. Oh, oh dear. And um, oh, there's actually something else here. Yeah, there it is. These little things can be overlooked pretty easily. Ah, uh, revenant info. The MLRB implant operation is conducted with the patient in an anti-mortem state and without anesthesia, aka while they're still alive and awake. As it is imperative, the patient develops neural connection to the augments before expiration. Once a neural connection with the implants has been established, the patient is repeatedly exposed to Lazarus wave blasts to induce death 
and transform the subject into a revenant. As with Hell Soldiers, revenants exhibit advanced, uh, <coughs> advanced, there's a D missing there, uh, combat tactics that include range control, vertical combat governance, and rush tactics. Yeah, they're, they're trouble, simply put. And then with the base one overall is the dude revenant. <laughs> of course. Uh, oh, here there is. Okay, we can just jump down from here after we go grab the armor. Someone is still trying to be a little nuisance down there. Is it Timmy? Yeah, it was. <laughs> Checkpoints. Ah, Pierce. Oh, that's an Argent accumulator she's carrying. She'll try to use it to open a portal manually into hell. While the Argent Tower is non-functional, the connection to their dimension is still viable. We are at great risk, Dr. Hayden. She's lucky to be behind bulletproof glass each time. He said... Bulletproof. But does it need to rocket proof? Uh, probably, but we just blow up in our faces. Hello, and welcome to the UAC. The Argent Air Infiltration System, developed by Dr. Olivia Pierce. We are the only corporation with this technology, able to convert pure hell energy into clean, controllable Argent energy. It powers this facility and is broadcast throughout the universe from Argent Tower, providing all the energy a family needs to live a fun and productive life on Earth and the surrounding colonies. But we can't do it at all. It takes a team to make that. A team of people full of energy. Potential energy. Unleash your potential with the UAC. Thank you for your interest in Argent Energy. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess this is where we were supposed to find the super gun. Yeah, the super shotgun if we'd missed it before. Let's see. The Argent Energy Tower, completed in 2127, uh, based off a prototype developed by Samuel Hayden's research team, the Argent Tower, also known as the Argent Inductor, is the UAC's crowning achievement. This unparalleled piece of technology is born of the synergy achieved with, when radical forward thinking UAC science is charged with the raw power of plasma. Uh, Argent Plasma. Unprecedented in scale, the tower's primary purpose is to harness Argent Plasma from the fracture, convert it to usable Argent energy, and beam Argent packages to Earth's GEDM, Global Energy Distribution Matrix. It is based on uh, this is based off of Gauss cannon designs, first prototyped in the late 20th century. Though, although designs regarding the inner workings of the tower are a closely guarded secret. The concept of using a gauze cannon design to launch energy packets has not, had not even been theorized prior to the discovery of the fracture, but the technology developed at a miraculous rate soon after. The phenomenal growth of this new tech has led to some speculation that the Argent Tower is actually based off of a design discovered in the artifacts that were found dispersed around the site of, you know, of the fracture. Yeah, that totally doesn't sound like it would be a setup. Oh, summoner. Come here, you. Out, out of ammo, what? Wait, what? It, you picked up several... I know it uses more fuel the stronger the demon is that you kill it with, but I didn't think it would kill use four. Where are you? It's rain time. Get some health. Ooh, hell night. There we 
go. What, two summoners? Or did I just kill something else? I'm sure. Hear you. Okay, he just ceased to exist. Oh, there he is. <laughs> there he was. Uh, oh, come on. No more. What is this? Quad damage. That would have been nice to have during that. Uh, let's see. Once ingested, the subject effectively becomes a host for what was presumed to be the most powerful of UI Thrank's demons. Any weapon held by the subject is enhanced, giving it up to four times as much projectile force and ballistic power. Though the effects are short-lived, they can be devastating. During the initial uh, testing phase, patient C132, a volunteer tier 2 uh, advocate, managed to decapitate three security personnel using nothing more than a pocket knife. Also, yeah. I think that's all Thranks. Let's see. UI Thranks. That's an L. No, a small L. Thranks. Uh, uh, just why, why do capital I's and uh, L's just have to be the same thing? Yeah, that, sometimes they do a little... Some little hint that are different, but even that some little hint when you look at the face of them, but then L has a little, a very little, tiny little hooky, if you, you can call it that, but it's usually not used or it's easy to miss. Okay, there's a body downstairs. An elite guard, and there's a data thing that we missed here. Completed in 2127, based off a prototype developed by Samuel Baker's research team, the Argent Tower. Okay, more info on the summoner. Let's see. The Lazarus Project has managed to successfully capture several summoner demons. The imprisonment process requires careful preparation, as a summoner will immediately launch multiple Argent wave attacks when trapped. To prevent this, hell energy must be continuously drained from the demon until it is sufficiently sedated. An anatomical study of the summoner suggests that it is a highly evolved subgenus of the imp form. Okay. Um, let's see, downstairs. There you are. Searching high and low, challenge complete. Oh, yeah, what are the challenges for this place, actually? Let's uh, find three secrets. Perform four neck or jawbreaker glory kills on the imp attack from behind. Okay. Uh, and kill 50 demons with over <laughs> with quad damage. Yeah, that's the first thing I saw. I thought he's gonna be pissed. They're more annoyed. Okay, now we can progress. Uh, okay. I don't think that double jump is supposed to launch you forward like that. Uh, okay, it's been a while since we've done a clip. Let's hope that this doesn't set us before the, the come battle there. Okay, it puts us here. Uh, does it count the things we picked up? Yes, it counts them as picked up. Okay. Why did it just jeet us forward like that? No idea.
Test one, two. Three, four, five. Okay, that's five times now. Uh, yeah. We're just about to hit two hours anyway, so I think we can just call it there before it just happens yet again. Just why? Why does it keep happening here? Like, it can't be is the it... mic itself. It's something on the computer that is going wrong and fucking things up. Yeah, for again, when it happens usually once and sometimes relocation twice, but not like this. And now we not only have that it disconnects your headphones or does that loudness. Yeah. I'll need to see if the program I'm using to split the two up might be having an issue or something. Maybe reinstall it. Uh, see if there's an updated version of it. Maybe that might help, but I just... Uh. Either way, though, we'll have to call it there for our second Doom stream. So let's go look for someone to raid so we can share the, <laughs> the suffering of long noses to someone else. And let's see. Uh, Pika Girl is online with Story of Seasons, A Wonderful Life, and apparently they're just on a break with that. Uh, I, I was actually I was actually watching them a bit before the stream, and apparently they are a Harvest Moon fan, so they are really really happy that this game is out, uh, because well, Story of Seasons is basically Harvest Moon but modern. It, uh, actually, yeah, basically it is. It's just a an improved version of the Harvest Moon because it's actually the, the Harvest Moon people making it because. Apparently, the Harvest Moon uh, title is owned by some company that really doesn't do much or ha anything with it anymore. So, yeah. Uh, shall we go rate them? Hmm. Maybe. Okay, I'll keep their name on copy at the least. And let's see. Some other people who are online. Yep. Oh, they're just resuming. Uh, let's see. They've got some guests over. I see Lilith. I see, I believe that is Keyscase Case Avatar that they use for them and someone else. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, uh, Touch Scaly Tail is playing Cult of the Lamb. Then we have uh, Jeronki, who we raided recently. They're, <laughs> they're playing Alien Isolation again. And let's see. Yeah, I'm I'm being more picky with these since we typically take like what ten hours, not ten hours, ten minutes to go raid someone. Hmm. Um, yeah, any of those three or anyone else that you can see yourself or you should be able to see yourself. Yeah, let's say go with the Pika girl. Okay. Making double sure that I have their name copied because I don't trust my f fumbling fingers. Okay, heading into our place and slash raid and paste. But before we start, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching. <clears throat> thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. For some reason, my throat is having issues as well. Uh, so yeah, uh, thank you, Marco. Thank you, Tap uh, Tap Axe. Mm -hmm. And was there anyone else? Mm -hmm. I uh, don't think and, so. Uh, Mark? Yeah, co Cookie. Yeah, was Cookie. <laughs> Why do I keep forgetting Cookie? Prob uh yeah. Thank you, three, and thank you for the follow tap axe. Or if, if, may I just call you tap to make it tap to make it a bit easier? And uh, yeah, thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, with that, let's start up the raids. Uh, on Thursday, we will be continuing with this, and hopefully, we will be doing a multiplayer stream with Ram and Liz of Borderlands tomorrow. Can't say for certain, but hopefully. And yeah, in the weekend, we'll be continuing with Return of the Oprah Din, as well as what other game did we have for that? I, uh, Katana Zero. Yeah, my, my, minute, my screen was a lot more covered up than usual with the extra stuff that I pulled out. <clears throat> yeah, I almost forgot that myself. <laughs> but yeah, for now then, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for imps.